Now, guys, Apple is um, one of my largest well plays. It always has been all the way back from 1998. Okay. Um, many of the traders who've been with me for decades, they know that this is what we've had for a very, very long time. Um, I will show you this. And this person wants to see Apple with the same weekly 200 on here. We'll get the 200 current moving average there. I've been going over time on these things. That's because I get on my soapbox, guys. I'm sorry about that. But there are just certain things I'm passionate about. Sorry. It's me. Lo siento. All right. So, sorry. All right. Cool. So you can see Apple, right, um, during its historical times, coming in contact with its 200 period moving average, it has yet to go, all right? Now, there are several ways to look at this, right? First of all, you know, Apple is holding up very well. Now, Apple is the most, one of, if not the most owned items on planet Earth, up until recently was the most valuable item on planet Earth, when it topped a $3 trillion valuation. It's not that now. But some people might say that we're not done with this until Apple gets here. You see, when you, this is not necessarily true, but I'm just saying that some people might suggest that because Apple has only dropped there, we have more downside in everything that is considered risk on. Why? Because usually a bear move to the downside is not over until the last of the strongest crack. So things crack in waves, right? In a bear, in a bear market. First, whatever's on the outside of the risk curve, guys, right? So check this out. So whatever is on the outside, the furthest outside of a risk curve, that will crack first. And then your, your more conservative growth things will crack second. And then your really secure things crack last. And then you're done. When the securest of the securest the strongest of the strongest finally give way, you're done. So Apple is one of those most secure of the most secure things that we've had out there. And it's starting to crack now, but it's only halfway. At least if we use the 200 period moving average, which is the guide. So one can look at this and say there's still more downside because Apple should drop more. Now, if to give you an example of this, um, Take a look at this, guys. To give you an example of this, take a look at this. So when, when, we look at, when we look at something like ARC, which is Kathy Wood's um, ETF, I want you to note when Kathy Wood's ARC started cracking, all right, from here. Now look at where that is on the chart. That's in the first half of 2021. The market in all of its collective wisdom was really forewarning of the bear coming. Do you understand? ARC is considered way out hasn't made a new high sense, right? So Kathy Wood's arc started here. Apple started later. Remember the high risk, the higher risk, they start cracking first. Now we're starting to get quality cracking from here. I would say now quality is cracking. 
risks started cracking here. And the next level of risk started cracking there. And now quality is starting to crack. So we are closer to the end than we are to the beginning. I don't care what the news says. I don't care what the general feeling is out there. We've been cracking since 2021. This is not a new phenomenon. The bear market has did start here. It just didn't roll to the quality until here. Tell me you understand this. Bear markets start way before anybody's even thinking about a bear market. Do you understand? And bear markets start when other things are still going to new highs. It's only in history that we look back and say, ah, I realized the bear market really started in 2021. When you start to look at how the bear rolls quietly from one group to the next, and it's only becomes clear and obvious when the very top quality that people rely on or people are exposed to start to drop. No one's really paying attention when the non-quality things are cracking and having trouble. And if you think about it, there are 15,000 things, 18,000 things that trade every single day, yet you only hear about what? How many? One, two, three, four, five. You hear like about eight, eight things over and over every single day. Apple, Microsoft, da, 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 da. You hear about the same 10 or 15 things. But there's zillions of other things that nobody talks about on any given day, ever. And they trade every single day. And while those things are cracking, no one's talking about them. No one's paying attention. But the bear is quietly waking up. And he's going to hit those first. And the bear eventually finds, the, finds its way up the ladder to the highest quality. And it's only when the highest quality starts taking a hit that the world starts to pay attention that the bear is awake. Oh, my God. Do you understand? And so when quality starts to be hit, you know you're at the end because it's been rolling for a while. If you go back to Bitcoin here, look at when Bitcoin started cracking. Right here. Brief new high. Now, if you look at that, that should be November. November 15th. In the middle of November. This is exactly along the lines of Apple. All right. Apple begin to crack at this point as well as Bitcoin, but Apple is more institutionalized than Bitcoin. Apple's older. It's a senior citizen compared to Bitcoin. So Bitcoin will race to the downside faster than Apple. But get this, it will turn and run to the upside faster than Apple too. It does both faster. Tell me you understand this. It's the fastest horse in the race. It's the fastest horse in the race. 